Uh, this is what we have right now. An entire house to be remodeled. We need to make sure that it looks fine inside and outside. And we have a ton of work that we need to do in the inside. So uh, follow me and I show you what we're gonna do. Okay, I'm in the second floor of the house and this is the master bedroom. The room that is gonna have a lot of more um, action over here, the, the one that's gonna be the principal uh, bedroom and it has a lot of space. That's the cool thing about it. The only problem is that whenever they did the, the partitions and this uh, type of closets, they, I don't know, they just wasted a lot of space. They The finishes are not the greatest. And obviously the space over here in this massive bathroom is not used properly. So well, we're gonna go ahead and demolish all this, take all this out and make sure that it looks really well. Uh, we're gonna need probably insulation. We're gonna put a new new window over here because it doesn't have a nice window and uh, obviously change all the windows of the house. So we're gonna continue by protecting ourselves really well using masks, uh, you know, goggles, uh, also gloves and everything else that, that is important for uh, proper demolition. All right, let me just stop for a little bit over here and show you what's going on. As I told you in the beginning, this house is really old. So a lot of the technology that we use nowadays, it was not accessible you know, back in the days, especially in a rural community like this one. So um, I found a lot of things, but I wanna give you some tips when you're doing demolition. You see what, I, what we have done over here is actually to open up some of the trash bags, the demolition bags. These bags are actually uh, the thicker version, the ones that are really good. Um, so I recommend you to use that. I show you the box over here. These ones are three mil, heavy duty, right? I buy them in, 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 in um, this presentation, 50 bags. It is a little cheaper to buy them like that, especially if you're gonna do a lot of demolition, right? Um, the next thing that, that I wanna show you is that we are saving a lot of the timber. The lumber that we're taking out, um, it can be used for something else, especially now that we have to be so concerned about the environment. We don't want to get rid of all these pieces if we're going to need a little, you know, pieces here and there. Obviously, when we're going to use new partitions, we're going to need, you know, bigger sizes. We have to get rid of whatever is left. But with this, you can actually do a lot of repurposed projects like furniture, bookcases, and all these sort of things that you can do. The same thing with the moldings. We, we don't want to get rid of them yet because the, the, the idea is to be efficient and what we're doing, right? So let me show you what, what we found over here. These walls, back in the days, they didn't have drywall. What they had is beaterboard. So different thicknesses of beaterboard. So throughout the entire house, you're gonna find this. And the situation is that behind it was nothing, was empty, was a void. And this was going on over here in what now we're dismantling the closets, right? So we wanna make sure that um, we save as much energy and as much material as possible, right? This is beaterboard. Um, so what happens is that to install the bit board back in the days, they have a little toe, you know, like a, like a tongue and groove, and they were just putting in the groove, they were putting the tongue in the groove and going all the way up. So they started from the bottom all the way to the top. So we're gonna have to sacrifice a little bit of the top one, but we're gonna try to dismantle them and use it for bookshelves or something else. Maybe we can do, feature some of these walls elsewhere. But if you notice, there is no, this is the, the steel wall and there is no insulation. So we're gonna to have to put insulation, reinforce a little bit, make sure that everything is nice and strong and sturdy, and they can save a lot of energy over here. It will take a ton of energy to be able to heal, to, I mean to heal, to, um, <laughs> wait, one second, to be able to heat it up or cool it down, right? So that's that's the situation with these walls. And obviously these partitions were made in a, in a really, really mentory way. They were not crafty doing these things. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make, if this is the master bedroom, we're gonna make it bigger, especially over here in the in the closet, the walk-in closet. I believe that the less walls you have, the better, so you can actually put more furniture. So we're gonna make it a little bigger, way more open, and we're gonna make the bathroom just a slightly uh, smaller than what it is right now. So we're gonna continue, and again, remember to you know wear your glasses, wear a mask, because half an hour into this thing doing a lot of dust, you're gonna get uh, suffocated with, you know, if you don't have something like that. And uh, with the bigger pieces of drywall, if you notice, we're not banging these things, we're trying to dismantle the entire thing. You can get rid of them like that. And the smaller pieces, you can chop them down and put into your trash bags. So those are the tips that you need to remember because, you know, uh, it will be efficient. You're not gonna kill yourself. At the end of the day, you're gonna be nice and, and you know, you're gonna be uh, stressed out because everything is dusty and messed up. All right, so let's continue. Hello. 
I need you here. I want to show you something. Yes, sir. Everybody that is looking at this video, this is a problem that is really common in people that is not taking care of the building codes. Look what is going on. I can't pull this ventilation line out and that's because somebody went ahead and perforated it with a screw. That is why we need to put these plates. I'm gonna put it on the, on, the, on the video while you're watching it. I'm gonna put a plate that has to go over here on the other side. The same thing when you have water lines. You wanna make sure that you protect that stuff because in this case, it's only air that is coming in. But if you have this in the second floor, water may be dripping over here is gonna cause a lot of issues. So that's why anytime that you have a pipe that is going across, you wanna make sure that you put a, a safe plate over there so you don't drill through the pipes just like what you're seeing over there. It's a really cool example. Not a, I mean, not a cool, but it's something that I, I'm glad that I'm able to show you because that's something that's gonna affect your plumbing and you're gonna realize in one year that there's a problem that, you know, wood is rotting on your house, you don't know where it's coming from, it's because that was missing. Obviously, if we're gonna pass inspections, we wanna make sure that everything is fine. Right. Now, here's another problem. See, this is drywall and they put another type of material on top to make sure the water was not going in. But you're proliferating a lot of mold over here. A lot of algae is growing, a lot of mold is growing, and this is really toxic. So you want to make sure that you don't have that in your house. Imagine that if you have somebody that has asthma, somebody that has some respiratory problems, this is going to increase the problem, right? So you want to make sure that whenever you're building around wet areas, you don't use the stuff that is going to get damaged with water. And that was the case of somebody using regular drywall over here. There are other materials, and I'm going to go over in other videos. Overall, for this video that I'm making about demolition, I want to show you something important. When you're working in demolition, you want to make sure that all your lines are disconnected. I'm not going to cut it right now because I want to know where they were coming from. They were not installed properly. Uh, you know, I can tell you that. So we want to make sure that we, we can track down this, this wiring. The wiring in the house is new, but uh, the way they installed this thing was not the most proper way. And I want to show you by code how you have to do these things. The next thing, um, you can actually see this video board ceiling. It didn't have insulation on top. Obviously, you're gonna lose a lot of energy there. You're gonna lose a lot of energy on your walls. You wanna make sure that you put insulation on those walls. You wanna make sure that you put the right insulation. In this case, we're gonna use R15 or R13. The same thickness of the stud, but we wanna make sure that it's fair. We're gonna remove this thing and make sure that the structure is strong enough to support the new porcelain tile and all the stuff. So remember to subscribe to the channel so hit that little notification bell to comment because I want you to help me so we can build beautiful things and obviously be, you know, stay tuned so you can actually see the next video that I'm going to make about this beautiful bathroom and the rest of the house. It's going to be an awesome, historic, beautiful property that is going to be for somebody fairly soon. All right. So remember, subscribe, hit the little notification bell. I'll see you soon.